so. Or she might. Who? You know. Oh. She was not dead. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really. So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? We have this. We're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. It's crazy 
to think that all the realms exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Hell, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Let's do it. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's tree. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning, sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good.
but they're different from the others. <laughs> oh look! The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. could carry here now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. <laughs> so who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Then we climb. Ha! 
You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tjodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Oh, the mouth! We made it! More black breath. stories of a giant with a deer head. wonder who he is. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. I think there's a second... <laughs> Say. No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, hath no my call. Hmm. Nothing. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. Pretty sure the way up to the mountain is inside.
you think that got up there? This must have been important to the Giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? Guess we have to go down and go up. That helps, right? These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. There's only one.
Boy, another light crystal. Just look at this place. It feels so... Dead. I was gonna say ancient, but thin works too. This is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. For you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. Can you read it? Oh, this is Durothrum, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Boy! Yes, sir! I've seen this object before. Someone had a library.
to now? The peak is still our goal. We find a way up. peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Frasley. It means terror. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Alright, how do we use it? 